Hello, in this series of videos I'm going to introduce you to the Cinema 4D workspace. This series of videos is for absolute beginners in Cinema 4D, so I'm going to assume you know nothing about Cinema 4D and just start right from the, you know, square one. And in this first short video I'm just going to talk about how to move the camera around to view the objects. So here we are, this is Cinema 4D, the workspace, and just to make sure that we're all on the same page, if you look in the upper right, You'll see these tabs, Standard, Model, Sculpt, etc., and you can click on them if you want to. They, the workspaces are just tailored just a little bit differently uh, depending on what you know, you're going to be doing in Cinema 4D. In this uh, series of videos and pretty much throughout this entire course, um, we'll just be using the Standard workspace. So make sure Standard is selected. With standard selected, selected, the default view is you should see the origin of the Cinema 4D world here in this axis. Okay, like this is the zero point here where these axes meet. Green is, uh, yeah, green is the Y axis up and down. Uh, red is the X axis and blue is the Z axis, which goes backward in space. Uh, that's the, the 3 in the 3D, right? Um, now suppose, I'm going to like change my view, I'm going to mess it up on purpose. Okay, suppose you don't see that axis in the middle. You know, suppose you're messing around and doing something else and you don't see that, here's what you do. You go on the left side of the workspace, click on View, Frame Default. When you click on View, Frame Default, you get the you know the default view yeah right so um, that's an important thing to remember view frame default and I will repeat that a few times in this uh, video and I'll repeat it throughout the course too because as you move around and move the camera in, in complicated projects it, it's very very possible to get lost you know um, so the view frame default is a nice way to get back to the the origin of your Cinema 4D world. <clears throat> okay, so this video I'm just going to talk about moving the camera around so you can view your objects. To do that I have to jump ahead a little bit and make an object and I will revisit this in subsequent videos, you know, so I'm jumping ahead just a tiny bit, but if we look over on the right side, this vertical toolbar has all these uh, icons that we'll talk about as the course proceeds. The most prominent one is the letter T for text. Uh, just above that you'll see a blue cube. So if you hit the drop down menu next to the blue cube you can see all the choices, the sh you know, the shapes you can make. So you can hit that drop down, you can either click twice on the blue cube here or hit the drop down menu and select cube and a cube appears magically. And I'll talk about how to move the cube, shape the cube, adjust the cube, all that stuff in another video. This I'm just talking about cameras. So suppose I want to pan the camera back and forth. Hold down the one key, click, hold, and drag. So one key on the keyboard, click, hold, and drag will pan the camera. Now I'm, I'm not moving the object. You can see the object is still in the zero point of the Cinema 4D world there. I'm panning the camera, okay? Secondly, if I want to zoom, I hold down 2 on the keyboard and click hold and drag and I zoom. So 2, click hold and drag, will zoom. You can also use the wheel of your wheel mouse to zoom in and out. And that's really nice. I enjoy doing that, you know, but the holding, two, holding down 2, clicking, holding, dragging is, is much the, the camera will zoom much much faster. If I want to tumble, if I want to like look you know at the bottom of the object, if I want to tumble the camera, hold down the number three, click hold and drag, and it will tumble around the origin. And again, you know, that that could make you really, really dizzy. So let's just go to view frame default since this object is is centered at the origin of the world. I can hold down three and tumble and it's a little bit more easy to manage, you know. So I can, you know, combine tumble. Um, now I'm panning, now I'm zooming, 
out and then I'm going to tumble some more and then I'm going to pan, you know, blah, blah, blah. So get used to like moving that around. Now, again, um, let's say, and this will happen, you know, like you will move stuff around and you will zoom out or zoom in and it, it's, it's not uncommon to like get lost here, you know, and lose your, your object in the view. Well, don't panic. Remember, there's, you can always go to view frame default is one thing, but also to uh, get the, uh, the selected object back into the view so you can see it. Because again, you'll have like many, many objects. It can be very, very complicated. And like, so what you want to do is hold down option or alt, option, uh, option O on the Mac, alt O, letter O on the PC, O for object, and it will frame the object. So Option O, Alt O will put the selected object back into the frame. Now that's still, you know, I'm looking at the bottom of this, right? And the axis is all wrong. So now I can go to View, Frame Default, and here we are back, back where we are. We started. So Option or Alt O will frame the object and view frame default will put us back into the default view. So with those few commands uh, and shortcuts, that will that is how you like navigate and move your camera around in Cinema 4D.